Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are all doing well. In this clip that I shot, I got some unfortunate news. I forgot to turn the camera mic on. And that's something I've done before, and it's something I'm, I've kind of done quite a bit, which is terrible. But anyways, I was trying to explain that after dropping Lincoln off and spending that day on my own, I decided to go back to Revelstoke, where I was in Revelstoke, and I was like, how can I kick this journey off? Like, I got a month to myself. How can I kick this off so I can begin to spend time with me, and I can connect with me, and how can I just make it the best that I possibly can? And what landed for me was to go on a six-day and six-night kind of journey. So I packed up the car, I packed up my tent, I packed up my sleeping bag, and I was like, I'm going to take all this stuff and we're going to head to Bannock Point, which is this beautiful, beautiful place just in the Kootenays, BC. But first, I was like, I'm going to go to the hot springs. I'm going to check on the cusp. I'm just going to journey, make my way there to Bannock Point where I'll set up shop for six days and six nights and we'll see what happens. And on top of that, I was like, why don't I just fast to have this like spiritual connection and that crazy stuff too? So we're going to see how it goes. We're going to get to Bannock Point. We're going to check out the hot springs. We're going to check it all out. And I'm not sure what's going to happen because I've never really camped by myself, let alone set up a tent in the pitch black. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really want to know, really want to know. If I, I spent probably about an hour in the first hot springs, probably almost two hours, uh, just having beautiful deep meaningful conversations uh, with a bunch of people that ended up were in the hot springs as well so that was beautiful I didn't get a chance to film any of it one thing I wanted to share just because I think that this is so prevalent for me in my life and I think it's so important for everyone to begin to look at or adopt or see is begin looking and begin asking yourself how can I be wrong so often I believe that we get stuck to these ways of thinking that we think are right but Maybe they're not because we live in a world that's incredibly vast and incredibly beautiful, incredibly huge. And we don't really know what's going on. We don't really know why we're here. We don't really know any of that stuff. So is it possible that maybe you're wrong? Maybe your girlfriend isn't the one who's messing up. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's not society that's to blame. Maybe it's you and not to put the blame onto you, but to look at and see all the ways in which you're wrong in your thinking because we often trap ourselves and I do this all the time and that's something that I'm committed to doing, showing up and being like, how, how could I be wrong? Because I could just be very much wrong. So let's continue the journey because it's about to get epic. One of the things about fasting is you gotta make sure you limit your exercise because I just climbed up this hill And I'm dusted. Oh. Thank you, Hot Springs. And the cusp, you're next. Even if the sky is falling down. We are currently at the cusp. It's a beautiful little city, a beautiful little place. There's supposedly about 1,700 people here, but I believe the population grows crazy especially in the summer because it's so beautiful and the stores are pretty hip everything's pretty unique and conscious and aware and it's lovely and the smoke is a little bit crazy but i always feel a little bit weird with covid and everything happening because i don't wear a mask i don't have these things and so i feel there's a part of me that feels a little bit weird going into nakasp in different places like that even though i've been in bc for quite some time just because i'm not sure how others perceive that Even if the sky is falling down. It was also pretty cool because one of my friends gave me some directions to find a natural water spring. And look left for a small one inch pipe. Look at that thing. Just dripping water. How cool is that? That there's just a little natural spring just right off the road. So we're gonna go fill up the water jug as well as this gigantic jug back here. We've got two jugs to fill up, but I wanna go try this water. <sighs> Woo! 
nothing better than natural spring water, man. There is no better taste than water that comes from this earth for me. Like, oh, oh. So stoked, man. Let's go fill up the big guy, get it done, get it settled. And we're on our way to Bannock Port. That's the last stop, baby. About a quarter full. Might take me a couple minutes. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. That whole process was longer than 10 dang minutes. Like what? 10 minutes of me holding this water bottle trying to fill up this boat. We got it done. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Boom! We got it done. And now we can continue the journey. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy a little bit, but we're gonna make our way. Let's go. So we're gonna go park the car. We parked the car and we are gonna go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It gets a little bit eerie in here. We're gonna go check it out first before we take the tent, before we unpack the firewood, everything that we need um, because it's supposed to be a crazy trail as well. Let's see what this place is all about. A part of me kind of has those eerie vibes. Only partially. I'm out here five days, five days on my own. We really get to see how I do out here. I've never really stayed on my own. I've never really spent that much time on my own. I haven't really been in a situation, especially like this, where I'm out in the wild. Like I'm in the wilderness for five days. Whew. Always down the steep, yo. Part of me's thinking, that I don't wanna walk back up this without taking stuff down. So we might go back, grab the tent, come back to this spot, and then hit it from there. You guys can't see me that well right now, but I'm carrying a pack ton of things down here. And if you're like me, or I feel like a lot of men do this, they grab way too much. I have so much in my hands right now, I can't even show you. I got backpack clothes, three backpacks, like everything on. And the path isn't the greatest, but yet here I am, trudging along, man, trudging along. Don't do what I do. Well, tent is set up, everything is good to go, but we got some, again, some unfortunate news. A, it's pitch black out, and I had to set up a tent in the dark, which was absolutely bonkers and almost impossible. Two, my phone died, so I didn't have any light. Don't even have any light to shoot this video because it's just black here, which is crazy. And three, forgot the headlamp at the car, so now I don't even have a headlamp to like shoot and get, get any legs. I don't know where I am. It's nuts. Anyways, it's beautiful here. It's time for bed. I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm gonna check in with you guys tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, subscribe to the channel if you love this kind of videos, love our channel, you love her stuff i know that you guys probably miss lincoln i miss lincoln and i'm excited for what's gonna come and meeting lincoln and getting back and all that kind of jazz that's later anyways like comment your favorite part thanks so much for watching guys stay lovely well don't just pack all this stuff down a big hill like an idiot be smart be smart like i am not joking when i say that i almost died today